My name is Degarius Cullum. I teach kindergarten here at DC Prep Benning Elementary Campus, and I teach both language arts and reading and math. I've been teaching for the past two years. I've been teaching with DC Prep Benning Elementary Campus for the past year. Some characteristics of the school that make it unique here at DC Prep Benning Elementary Campus is that we have a very strong ac academic model as well as a character ed model. Some ways that my school leadership support me to be a good teacher is by offering live coaching sessions and uh, they'll come to your classroom, give you tons of feedback, which is uh, very helpful for your, your lessons. Uh, a leader will come in and while you're teaching, they'll give you specific feedbacks, so they'll give you grows and glows, some things that you're doing great, some things that you need to work on. And um, you can actually take that feedback and implement it into your next lesson to make sure that the next lesson is more beneficial to the to the children um, in the way that they're learning uh, certain things. And also we have, um, I have a co-teacher, so they're actually observing both of us at the same time to make sure that the teacher that's teaching, the other teacher is floating, helping kids that may be struggling or uh, may not be getting the, um, the lesson at that particular time. So they want, they want to make sure that both teachers are you know, fully engaged in the classroom. Some ways that I engage with my families of the students is by uh, talking to them every day after school, letting them know uh, some things that happen within their child's day, whether that's uh, great feedback, which is what we focus on here, um, and more so like the academic components. If, if there's something a, a student is struggling with or need additional support with, we'll definitely give that parent additional resources to be able to help uh, that child um, succeed academically, which is our main push here at DC Pro. My name is Maura Englander, and I'm one of the assistant principals at DC Prep Benning Elementary Campus. My history with the school began in 2013 when I came to DC Prep Benning Elementary Campus as a literacy coordinator, really focused on improving the curriculum and quality instruction in literacy in kindergarten to third grade. I came to DC Prep, DC Prep Benning Elementary Campus after spending four years at Teach for America in DC, which gave me an opportunity to see lots of schools throughout the district and Prince George's County. And, and in that time, I got to see what was working for students as readers and writers and areas where, as a region, we could grow. Um, I went to graduate school to study reading interventions and what um, reading instruction could look like and then was really excited to join this campus's work to make sure that at DC Pratt Benning Elementary Campus, we treat um, our space and our work as a proof point that all students, regardless of the ward they live in in the city, can be excellent readers, writers, and critical thinkers. My vision for um, DC Pratt Benning Elementary Campus is to ensure that every single day when our children walk in our building from preschool to third grade, they are being set up with an excellent education that affords them a lifetime of educational opportunities. I want to make sure that our instruction every day combined with our character education program um, sets our students up to think about themselves as lifelong learners, to be able to go on to our middle schools and then get into whatever high school, competitive high schools and competitive colleges and universities they want to attend. Some of the characteristics of our school that make it unique um, is our focus on um, character education matched with our academic program. So we tell our kids every day that good quality work matters and it pays off, but we know that um, it doesn't just get produced by reading a book. It's the way that they think about themselves as learners, the way they think about themselves as readers and explorers in their community and in their world. Um, and we really focus to make sure our 
students know we work on teamwork. We work on um, those social skills that when they're matched with excellent academic content, can carry our students through any challenges that they might experience um, in their educational career or otherwise. And um, we know that in building that really strong foundation starting in preschool, we're gonna set our kids up to be able to take on any challenge they see. I support our school leaders and our teachers to make sure um, our school is of high quality by um, making sure that everything we do related to professional development is grounded in what's best for our students. So on a weekly basis, we revisit our data on how our students are performing academically and culturally. We talk about how our kids are doing on their prep skills, how are they developing through a character education lens and then through an academic lens. And every single week we say, what does that mean for the learning of our teachers and what does that mean for the learning of our leaders because our 300 plus hours in professional development are grounded in what's best for our kids as a community we're invested in spending the time that way and we are developing one another in the work that we do together Our school engages um, in many ways with the families of our students. Um, for example, at DC Prep Benning Elementary Campus, we put a premium on parent communication. On a regular basis, parents are getting phone calls home nightly about their child's performance, either academically or in their development of their prep skills. And um, they're talking about how their day was, they're talking about what they're learning. And one specific step that we took last year to really um, bring parents into the work in, um, at an even deeper level was to start having workshops on um, their students' reading levels and what things we're doing at school to support them as readers so that they can then transfer that to the home, uh, to their home life. We know that the work that we're doing here could not be accomplished without incredible work done by our families at home. We know that um, what our kids bring to school every single day um, is a product of the incredible work that their families are doing with them and the, the way that they're being raised and we feel grateful to get to work with them every single day. So we know that the more of those workshops, Saturdays, evenings, that we can come together with teachers and families talking about how we're developing our three-year-olds to eight-year-olds, and we know that it's that conversation and it's that shared vision that's going to pay off in the long run for all of our students. My name is Caitlin Hendricks. I teach kindergarten at DC Prep's Benning Elementary Campus, where I teach both English language arts and math. I am currently in my third year teaching. Previously, I was a Teach for America Corps member, where I taught in Jacksonville, Florida. I taught first grade for two years. This is my first year at DC Prep. Some characteristics that make DC Prep unique are that they place an emphasis not only on strong academics, but strong character education as well. We incorporate character education in everything we do. It's the first thing we do every morning. We introduce a new prep skill for the week or for the day during morning meeting and then encourage students to use the skills and the language that we taught them throughout the day. It's incredible to see kindergartners using language um, such as being hardworking or doing the genuine thing or showing sensitivity to their friends and really utilizing the skills that we teach them. My school leadership supports me in being a great teacher by um, the strong coaching model that they implement. In the beginning of the year, we had coaches in our room every day offering support, as well as leaders stopping by to either join the lesson with us or um, provide us feedback after the lesson. Um, every time someone's in your room, you have a debriefing session afterwards in which you're given feedback that you can implement into your instruction right away. I engage with the families of my students by being available to them until 8 p.m. every single night by cell phone. 
I've answered questions from parents about homework, upcoming events, field trips, or just to talk about how their preppy's day was. We also communicate regularly through something called a prep note, which every student takes home every day. It gives information about whether or not they were on time, had their homework and reading log completed, or in full uniform, as well as some information about the great things that they did throughout the day. They can keep track of all their additions on that prep note, and it really is a way to form a conversation between the parent and the student and the teacher so that we're all on the same page. My name is Kent Strader. I'm the Math, Science, and Social Studies Instructional Coordinator, and I teach grades K through 3. I have four years of teaching experience, and I've taught two years at DC Prep. Some of the characteristics that make DC Prep unique are the combination of a strong academic background and the character education model. I think that by teaching students values along with a rigorous education uh, makes DC Prep one of the top schools in the city. My school leadership supports me by providing opportunities for me to grow professionally. I've been a third grade literacy teacher last year, and this year I'm moving into instructional coordinator position. And they provided me with over 300 hours of professional development, which has given me the opportunity to move into this role and feel supported. They also found a fellowship from, through CityBridge called the Education Innovation Fellowship, which has allowed me to learn a lot about how to integrate technology into the classrooms and the teachers that I'm supporting. I engage with the families of my students by always being there for phone calls, emails, and one-on-one -on -one conversations. I've had the opportunity to work with students either before school or after school, and parents are always great at reaching out and finding the opportunities to really support the students and the skills that they need to work on.